Hello everyone, good afternoon from Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Nat and I'm from Laos. I also go as Nat Nomad and that is my YouTube channel. Uh, so today is my first video ever. Uh, I have been thinking of doing traveling YouTube video for so long but I never had courage to do it until uh, a few days ago when I finally got my GoPro camera and then I decided to go ahead and film my first video right now. So. Um, I have been staying in Bangkok for just a month. Uh, throughout my time here, I have stayed in three different hostels, so I did move around a little bit. So um, part of the main reason is I'm trying to train myself to get used to with my new adventure, uh, which is the backpacking. All those times staying in hostel, it actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I actually like it, to be honest. Uh, before that, I thought it was gonna be something else, but then yeah. So um, today I'm going to share my experience about the pros and cons or things that I like and things that I don't like of staying in hostel. Uh, so I'm going to go for the thing that I like first. So number one, things that I like about hostel is the price. I mean, I can't deny that when compared the price between hotels and guest houses and hostels is a lot, a lot cheaper because they're meant to be cheap in a way, right? Um, but oftentimes you'll sleep in a share room with other people I mean, some places do have private room, but when you compare with hotels or guest house, they're still cheap. So yeah, that's the good thing about it. And number two is the location. Hostels oftentimes tend to be in a good location. Uh, even if you're in a big city like Bangkok, you'll easily find uh, hostels around Sukhumvit area, Silom area, and you can find many, many near Kaosan Road. And these areas are pretty much in the center. I mean, they're quite close to the, those major tourist attractions like temples, grand palace, and malls and stuff, so yes. And number three is socialize. If you're a person who loves meeting new people or kind of extroverted kind of personality, then staying in hostel seems to be the best place for you. Uh, why is that? Well, because you have the chance to meet a lot of people. People from all over the world, people from different backgrounds, and people who have been to lots of places or Sometimes you'll meet people who have been to the place that you are going to or a place that you haven't been to or the other way around and There's possibility that you will sit down and have a long conversation and sharing advice tips and how to get there You know what to see and etc. And oftentimes You will have chance to hang out, you know, go for a drink or coffee and even go explore places together That you can share the cost of the transportation. So there you go Anyway, that being said, I still have things that I do not like about hostel and number one is the lack of privacy. If you choose to stay in hostel, forget about the privacy because you are going to sleep with other people and sometimes when you think you want to have your moment just to read some book or uh, just want to lay down, have some rest, it's so hard because you'll be interrupted by your roommates, uh, whether during the day or the night, it just not work because there will be people coming in and out so forget about it and number two things that I do not like is rough sleep so if you're a person who is having a sleeping problem like myself then staying in hostel is not helping because there are people who would come into the room at late night after party and getting drunk and being noisy and they just don't realize it and for us as we're trying so hard to, to sleep it just doesn't work and sometimes people just get into the room and just turn on the light and then start having conversation with their friends while you know other people are trying to sleep so yeah you 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 will stay awake so that's something that uh, you have to prepare and number three is the unclean environment staying in hostel you're not just only sharing bedroom but the bathroom kitchen living room and other things as well so there are many times that you wake up in the morning and you just want to go to the bathroom but it turns out that there are people in there and you have to wait and there's a long queue and sometimes you get into the bathroom and find out that it's so dirty and some people just don't even bother to flush the sinks let's say some hostel you know also allow shoes in i mean can you imagine in, in bangkok where it's so hot and sticky I mean, if you bring your shoes inside the room, the smell is gonna kill everything. So that's a nightmare for many of us. Uh, 
Number four is the safetyness that I do not like. Uh, the safety in my term is about your belonging. Uh, it's true that staying in household you have chance to meet amazing people, but remember, you will have to share the bedroom with complete strangers and you don't know them. So there are many times that people get their belongings stolen, like laptops or a cell phone and some other things. I mean, I got my earplugs stolen. Uh, I was charging it and went to the bathroom, came back, and it's gone. I mean, there were six people in there, so I don't know who took it. So yeah, stuff like that happens, so just have to be careful. I mean, some hostels do have lockers, and that's great. Go ahead, use it. Even if you have to pay 4 or $5 for it, use it. It's gonna keep your belongings safe, unless you want to carry it with you all the time. So yeah. And number five for me is the rules. I mean, hostels do have rules but the number one rules that I do not like the most is the late check-in and early check-out so check-in time in hostel is at 2 p.m. I mean let's say you just arrived at your hostel at 10 11 o'clock and you have to wait until 2 p.m. to get yourself check-in uh, let's say you just arrived from overnight train somewhere and you're tired and exhausted and you just want to lay down and have some rest forget about it you can't have it you have to wait until 2 p.m to to have your room so yeah and then the checkout time is again very early it's at 10 o'clock so let's say if you want to catch up your flight at 6 or 7 p.m you will have to check out at 6 a.m anyway and you can't do nothing about it but laying down in a couch or in a lobby and waiting for your time to arrive so you can leave. <laughs> Unless if you pay uh, extra money uh, so you can have your room, but most of the time it's just not available because there's always people coming in and out. So yeah, that's my opinion about things that I like and do not like about household. Thank you guys, thanks for watching and I hope you have a safe stay in Bangkok and have fun. Bye bye.